night. We are leaving Patel. Yes, it is nighttime. That's why it's dark. And we are leaving on this biggish, big-ish kind of boat behind us. So it's a nighttime boat that you can actually sleep on. Basically like a hostel, a floating hostel. Anyway, we're gonna go check in now and check out the boat. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you, Captain Carl. I've never done that before. Very interesting. <laughs> so far, it seems like it's a bit of a barge. And uh, it looks like we just leave our luggage down here, I guess. Where we say goodbye to our bags. We have no idea if we're going the right way. No one gave us any instructions, so hopefully this is it. Hello. Up. There are toilets on board, and they're very clean, which is nice. Okay, we're about to go in and see what do the beds look like, or the cabins, bed cabins, I don't know what to call it. Okay. This is not one. So people are meant to sleep here. Gosh, it's really hard to walk. There's no space because they've put extra mattresses on the floor. So you're kind of almost treading on these beds a little bit. I hope no one's sleeping on them. He said the boat wasn't full. You got something? Something to go. Together? B15, 16. Aww. Damn it. <laughs> Yay, we get to sleep together. And there's a plug. Probably gonna get cold. Yeah. Remember the podcast we listened to? Um, we listened to this podcast. What's it called? The two Aussie guys? The oh, oh. Okay, we listened to this podcast of Uninspired Unemployed and they told a story when they were backpacking in Europe and they got so wasted. They slept on the top bunk and one of them pissed the bed because he was so wasted it dripped through onto he didn't know and it dripped through onto the person below him so always take the top bunk if there's a chance of that happening <laughs> well the plane is actually really nice there's good aircon there's thick blankets uh, lucky for us, we're at the end of where the pathway goes, so less people walk past us. It's our luck, it's not the older time. It's clean. That's, I think, the for her biggest luck. question. It's really clean, which is nice. Yeah. We did bring a few extra, like, sarong to cover in case it was dirty, things like this. Yeah. And yeah, we got our luggage, so we prepared a toothpaste, toothbrush kind of thing, but apart from that, how much do we pay? 1,100 baht, and that gets us the boat for tonight to Suratani, and then also from Suratani to Krabi, the van tomorrow. And the van is like three hour drive, so it's not like yeah. a quick drop off. Um, but they organize it to everywhere. So you get the night boat, out, and then you get the van, like pretty much wherever you're going, like all the main destinations, you can organize it through them. And generally the prices range from like, I think it's about 800 to, um, 15, 1600, depending how far you're going. Yeah. So, yeah, so far, yeah, so good. We good. haven't started moving, so let's see if that lasts. But yeah, I did take a seasickness tablet before I got on because I got really sick on the ferry over here. But that was a fast ferry. Hopefully, this one's slow and calm. We are in the, to reference for anyone, we're in the middle deck. So, the, yeah, there's one bit of floor above. We had the front of the boat term for that, but we had the front of the boat in the middle deck. 
So I feel like this the is stern. the most the stern, with the middle deck on the stern towards the stern. I don't know. I'm no sailor, but I feel like this moves less. I don't know. I'll tell you tomorrow. Stay clean no matter what. Just watching my face with some of my closest friends. Big debate Jacqueline and I having. Oh my god. For the last five years. <laughs> Do you wet your toothbrush before <laughs> and after you put toothpaste? Please let us know. Please, at least one person let us know. So, Max wet his toothbrush before he puts toothpaste and after. And I just put the toothpaste on and then I went like a regular person. Five AM. We've arrived. Max slept really well, but I uh, not so much. And now we're just packing up all of our stuff because there should be a van out there, but the ticket says it doesn't leave till six thirty, and it's five fifteen. So we'll see whether oh. we jump straight in or I really don't know what's gonna happen. Let's go find out. Okay, ready? Let's go. We had the forethought to bring some little puppies. I really appreciate that. So what? It looks like there's a lot of people holding up signs. I'm hoping there's a sign for us <laughs> and that we can get straight into a van. <laughs> but we have to go and try and find that out right now. I can't see one, so it's not a good sign that there's no sign. Oh, you have a ticket? Uh, yes. Show me the ticket, please. Is holiday? holiday? Yes. Oh, really well over there. Minivan? Yes. Okay. okay, we have a van. That's good news. Max has this thing where he would prefer to carry both luggages rather than one because he says it helps him balance. I don't know. He likes it. You want it here? Yes. Yeah. This one? So I think if we'd been a little bit quicker, we would have been on the van. But it's full now, and we're gonna ride in the back of this tuk tuk. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Excuse me. We what? go all the way in this thing, in this? Yeah. All the way? I take off this. Off this. Big butt and me ran from here to off this. OK. OK. okay. the main office reassuringly we're not going all the way in this <laughs> tin can not that it's uncomfortable okay actually I mean, it is yeah. it would be pretty uncomfortable after three hours yeah <laughs> I, could, I couldn't put my head straight so long whoa whoa it's like move this bus and then i mean this is the bus <laughs> Okay, so we got a copy, 15 bucks each. We got our boarding pass. We're right there. <laughs> and uh, now we're waiting for our Fifth Mile Ride exhibit lookalike bus. Yeah, it's a pretty crazy looking bus. And the lady just told us that just tell the driver where your hotel is, and they'll take us straight to our hotel, which is nice, because I didn't realize that. It's even got police, like, <laughs> must be something serious. It looks pretty comfortable, so. Yeah, so Jacqueline can finish her nights, I can finish my movie. Yeah, I don't think I'll be sleeping. We got three, three to four hours, so you're basically crossing across Thailand. Yeah. And uh, then we're off to Krabi. We're going to the west coast. Yes. Anyway, enough smack talking. We'll have our coffee, we'll see you when we get in the bus. <laughs> Table and I think the toilets. Here we go. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. We just finished the bus ride, they rushed us out and then now we are into this one. We have a 20, 20 minute ride to our hotel. This is still all part of the package of the boat ride that we bought. Okay. We made it to our hotel. It's kind of like a resort style. You have your own little villas and it's in this really tranquil area, which is really nice, but it is kind of far from town. So it didn't look like it was on the map when I was booking, but turns out it is. And it just means we'll have to hire a scooter to get around, which is totally fine because this place was kind of a steal. It's like $31 a night. We get our own bungalow and it comes with a pool. Well, beautiful people, <laughs> we made it. It's been almost 12 hours since we left Koh Tao, so a very, very long travel day, but overall pretty comfortable. Max even got some sleep on the ferry. Very well organized. Everything was smooth, like from, yeah. I would say door to door, because Koh Tao is so small, that every hotel leads to that port, but all the way to here, nothing to say. So super easy, super simple, but we are still pretty tired. I didn't get much sleep on the ferry last night, so we are gonna take some time to rest before we go and explore Krabi. Yeah, we're here for a couple of days, so expect some good footage. 
Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye, Bye guys. Bye.